پرون گوشت یه وقت و یه وقت وی سرکم آمین So this week we did send the Christmas schedule and invitation to all of you. Has anyone received it? If not yet, yes? Some of you received, some of you not yet, but you will receive soon. But at least we have our invitations sent out online. But what that means when someone is sending you an invitation, if someone is inviting you to go somewhere, what that means for you. You are very important. That's the reason the person is inviting you to come to join the greatest joy that they have to celebrate something. In this case, it's a, it's a Christmas, the birth of our Lord. So we are inviting all of you to come and join. But what's your role after you are receiving this invitation? Can someone answer this question? If you got the invitation, what's your role to do? Be happy and prepared. To huh? attend. To attend. To attend. Thank you. To be sure that you mark in your calendar the date and the time and make that frame open to go for that invitation. It doesn't matter it's a Christmas invitation from the church or it's any invitation. Sometimes when you are invited to the wedding service or wedding ceremony, you are receiving an RSVP package or invitation or envelope. What that means? Who knows how to open the word RSVP? Can someone knows about it? It's French. Huh? No one knows about that? I didn't hear what you said. What RSVP means? Respond very rapidly. Huh? Respond very rapidly. Actually, you're right, but it's a French word which says, I just did the translation so I can read the translation for you. Répondez s'il vous plaît. Répondez s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, I'm So respond, please. If you're going to translate to English, respond, please. It means the person who are sending this invitation accepting from you something to do, not just receive the envelope and put it in your desk and wait until the day you will decide to show up or not. If it's a wedding service, probably the organizers want to know how many people will be in that wedding, how many food they have to prepare, and how many servers they have to call to serve these people. Can you imagine that today's gospel reading is about that event? About the big banquet that the Lord invited and sent the invitation. And even, Bible is telling, they gave, they, like they did it, our, our RSVP that they said they will come. But when time came and banquet was ready, the Lord sent his servants to go and invite them to come. They, everything is ready, come for this great event. And they start making excuses not to go. So three excuses, or three group of people who make the excuses. One says, oh, I'm sorry, I just bought a land. I have to go and check it. Question, how you bought the land? If you don't know how that looks like, if you don't know where is it, and if you can use it or not, answers to us. The second one says, I just bought the animals, the yolks, and I have to go and test them to dig the earth or something. Of course you know that they are yolks and they can do that job. And the third one said, I just get married, excuse myself, I cannot come. Why? Bring your wife. Bring someone to come with you. All these excuses happen in our lives. When we are invited by God to join Him in His kingdom, to eat from the same table as prepared for Him and for all the saints, we are always making excuses. 
I am working six days a week and I need a day of open for me to stay, be in my couch and watch the TV. Or do my laundry. Or I don't know. Everything that goes to this earthly life. If we're going to translate or open the word or these three excuses, which can be, just listen carefully. I got the land. I'm supposed to prepare that land to go back to that land. Everything about this life. Do you understand what I said? I got the earth. I need to prepare that for me to go back there. But how about there? How about up there with God? Those invitations God is sending every day to us. Every Sunday is a big banquet for us to come and join God's table. Eat from that table, but always we are making excuses. Why we are excuses? Sometimes we are excusing because of the stuff that we own. Uh, we said, I got this, I have to go and test, or I got the land. Or we are putting someone in before us and making excuses. Oh, I'm excused because of this one, I cannot do that. I don't know if that's correct or not, but we always can you know, see that there is no excuses because the Lord will send His disciples to go and bring other people who never been in that invitation list. And when He saw that there are many places open, He cannot bring another people until all the banquet hall will be filled up. And as it says in today's Gospel reading, which I want to read for you, it says, For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. We got that invitation. If you miss that and make excuses, we are never will be in that dinner anymore. And we never going to taste that food that prepared for us. Remember this. If our life is ended in this world, and we don't have that heart of the confession, we don't have that heart to go back to God and be with Him, we will be missing that dinner and we will be missing that invitation. And that's going to be forever. And no return anymore. Dear brothers and sisters, my prayers are that every one of us can be ready to join God's table. Can be ready to accept that invitation, not only accept that invitation, but also when the day comes to go, we can go without excuses. God gives us that invitation to follow Him daily. This question is for all of us. Are we? Question. Senin ay sor kuzem fosel heraber kimas. Ayn heraber kubur aspats kurgaz em mesi amen orya hat harabas orya hat astanalu ilme. Martik bor. The portent as to Zop and Zell, which Pesor I saw one of it done in Mesh, Kese, Mek, Yerami, and not what as to Zor Kaukan meant to say, I'm being a step. I'm Yerami at Marcos, but Mik, Mite, Menkal be the Nenka at Marcos Sharkin in Mesh. Mite, Menkal be the Unenank at Keretik in our Juna, as to Zor Seran in Shurjan Stello, and not a Danikin Hatamagoch Bellu. Christos Keretik Patuna Perez, the in space house maker. Herabet Kergadze Ramenkin, Ir Tuna Kalu, Yevait Mait, Herska, Jashke Rutin, Kam, Pankwetin, Mastagitza, Lalus, Sagain, Yev Jamanag Hassam or Bette Kain, Rajaretan. Yerek Sebi Rajarun Yehabarachin Sabor, Hokanetzi Chemperna 
Amen. 